Hi, my name is Robin Venters. I'm a factory rep for PV Electronics. And we're going to take a few moments today to talk about the new FX series of mixers from PV. The FX series of mixers is offered in three models, the FX16, the FX24, and the FX32. Apart from the differing number of input channels, the three models are essentially similar. Now we're just going to take a few minutes and run through them quickly. Uh, there's a lot more to them than we have time to talk about, but there's some really exciting features that set these apart uh, from anything else on the market today. For starters, let me just go through the basic analog features of these really fine 4-bus consoles. For starters, the microphone channels have an input gain, 3-band equalization with shiftable mids. Following the equalization section are 6 auxiliary sends, 4 pre and 2 post. Following the auxiliary buses is a pan pot and the associated assignment switches for the first, second, third, and fourth submixes, as well as straight to the left-right outputs. There's a mute, which mutes the entire strip, including all the auxiliaries, and a pre-fader listen button. There's indicator lights for both the mute and the PFL. Beyond that is a high-quality 60-millimeter fader. The preamps involved in these mixers are a new type, which we call a silencer mic preamp, which approach theoretical maximums of minimum noise and highest headroom. Moving on from the individual input channels to the master section, the auxiliary masters and the submaster section all feature after fader listen switches to allow you to listen to the mix after the master fader, as well as clip indicators uh, to uh, be sure that those auxiliary buses are not being overdriven. Uh, additionally, the four auxiliaries uh, are equipped with mutes. The master section also features two uh, fully routable effects returns. Now, all these features we've talked about so far are pretty standard to good quality analog four bus mixers. What really sets the effects apart are, is the digital section. The FX mixers all are equipped with two very powerful DSP engines, the first of which uh, will do twin multiple effects processing. Let's take a look in the display and I'll show you some of these great digital features. All of the digital functions on the FX series mixers are accessed via this LCD screen and controlled by the four controls directly underneath the LCD screen. This user interface is completely menu driven and quite easy to learn to operate. There are three basic modes accessed by these switches to the left of the display. The effects mode, output processing, which I'll tell you more about in a minute, and digital input output, which again I'll get all the details in here in just a sec. But for starters, the effects processing uh, consists of two multi-effects processors that are fully programmable and editable. You can do three at a time, up to three at a time, pull from a list of ten uh, options and each of the different types of effects is fully editable and programmable. There are two processors in the unit uh, which can be used on the two effects ends or the second processor can be patched to an individual channel or to an individual subgroup. Next is the output processing, and this is really the area in which this board is completely unique. The two main outputs, the L and R outputs, have on them, with a couple of different optional uh, modes, uh, various processing of the type that you would usually buy and put in a rack next to the mixer. Uh, one of the most popular configurations is the stereo uh, outputs. And at the moment, I have chosen a feedback ferret, active feedback uh, eliminator, a five-band parametric EQ, a delay, which is used for alignments and time corrections, and dynamics processing. The feedback ferret is pretty much set and forget, although it has a couple of different modes. It can either have four floating points, two floating and two fixed, or up to eight fixed points of feedback suppression. The parametric EQ is really interesting because Due to the display and the user interface being configured in the way it is, it's actually a five-band graphical parametric. What I mean by graphical is this. 
as you can see in the display here, there's one, two, three, four, five points that can be equalized. Uh, the left knob selects which band you're on. If you push that left knob, this knob now becomes centering frequency of that band and you can slide it up and down this audio spectrum. The right hand knob is the gain where you can boost or cut the frequency and as you can hopefully see there in the display, you get a nice little graphic of exactly what you're doing to the frequency response with this equalizer. Since it's a true parametric, this right hand knob that does the boosting or cutting, you press it, it becomes the bandwidth adjust and you can widen the booster cut and narrow it. So in a very real way, this particular equalizer is actually quite graphic in the way it shows you exactly what you're doing, sliding the frequencies around, selecting different bands, coming up with different EQ curves, as you see. In addition to the effects processing and output processing in the board, there are also two USB ports located on the back panel. Uh, these allow you to stream two tracks of digital audio and record and playback completed MP3 files. The point of all this, obviously one could spend an hour going through all the details in this mixer. But the summary on the FX mixer is this. When you're looking at an FX mixer, you're looking at a very high quality analog mixer, four buses by two, with six auxiliaries, excellent routing, excellent monitoring. But in addition to that, you have two really first rate multiple effects processors for typical upstream effects type processing, fully patchable and configurable, as well as most of the types of processing that would live between a mixer and the inputs to your power amps. Check out an FX mixer at your local authorized TV dealer. The guys who work there know about this product and go into a great deal more detail with you on it. So thanks for spending this time with me and get to your dealer and check it out soon.